MMA versus boxing, boxing versus YouTubers, YouTubers versus basketball players, whatever. Can we stop now? Hey, what's up, Fight Nerds? This is your boy, Gershon. I want to welcome you to Enter the Nerd. Today, I want to talk about these weird sideshow matches we keep on having and how common they're becoming now. Before, you know, the first time, and what I mean by sideshow matches, I mean people who don't even take place in the same sport fighting each other and it being taken seriously and tons of money getting generated off of it and it almost taking away from the respective sports for which these athletes come from. And at first it was just two people, like for example, when it was Conor McGregor and Mayweather, even that's not the first time, like James Tony fought uh, Randy Couture before that. And that didn't end up well either, but at least James Tony went to MMA. He didn't practice any, gra any grappling at all. And he just got submitted. And it didn't prove anything. It didn't prove anything. It just proved that if you go into a sport unprepared to be able to do the things that are required to be successful in that sport, you're going to fail which had happened, right? I mean, for some reason, James Tony in that match stood up and thought, oh, wait, Randy Couture's gonna box me. No, because it's not boxing, right? But I digress. Fast forward, we have Conor McGregor and Floyd Mayweather. Uh, for some reason, people literally thought, damn, McGregor's got a chance because, you know, he knocks people out in, uh, in mixed martial arts, so it's gonna translate directly to boxing. Clearly, people who understood boxing and just, you know, a lot of combat sports understood that that was inherently incorrect even with his size advantage because it had nothing to do with that people should understand that mixed martial arts the sport and boxing the sport are inherently different there are things that are required for each one different things to be successful at it i mean a lot of people even some mixed martial artists believe that boxing is just striking just with no with no grappling not have to worry about leg kicks like they oversimplify it and it's not that because boxing also requires a different range of motion. Obviously, your legs are closer together, they make their body smaller targets, and they're way different angles because now they're just attacking head and body, right? Sure, there is some clinch work and grabbing, but it is not the same as we're talking about here. It's not like a Muay Thai clinch. It's not anything to transition into a judo throw or a Greco, it's nothing like that. So you have to change your entire mindset. So the way you generate power is also different, which is why when you saw in the Floyd and Conor McGregor fight, you know, Conor McGregor's legs were so wide, which doesn't make sense in the boxing ring. It made a lot of sense within um, mixed martial arts, but you know, you might have to sprawl, might have to block some some takedowns or, or, you know, defend some takedowns, right? But that wasn't a thing there. I mentioned those two because those are like the genesis when it comes to this whole mixed martial arts versus boxing thing. And what's really weird is like, you have now these two brothers, uh, Jake Paul and Logan Paul, but more prominently, Jake Paul. He's out there fighting people who are not actually boxers under the umbrella of boxing. Now, has he been taking it seriously? Has he been training? Sure, has he fought like an actual boxer yet? No, he has not because he is not stupid. He's handpicking his opponents and it is what it is. People are going out there to fight him and they're creating this sideshow. Who has he fought so far? Obviously an NBA player. He fought some guy before that, I forget who it was, but, um, it, prominently an NBA player and Ben Askren, someone in MMA who is known for having negative striking, like not even bad striking, but like negative striking, which is bad footwork, all that, which is also something that's different in boxing, the type of footwork you need to have. Um, and now we just, we keep on getting these sideshow matches because now Jake Paul about to fight Tyron Woodley. Um, we just had Logan Paul fight Floyd Mayweather, which was so mind boggling to me because let's just, so back right after Jake Paul knocked out um, Ben Askren, you know, he started like talking about um, Daniel Cormier and stuff like that. And Daniel Cormier said something very poignant. He said, you know, in my sport, I'm a champion. I I've had two, you know, two different belts. Like, what have you done to be in the ring with me? And that's a great thing. Like, what have you done? And yes, it would make be a lot of money if he did it. But it's all about like, how, what have you done to stand in the same ring as me? Even Canelo, who spoke about, because one time I think Jorge said something about fighting Canelo. And Jorge was like, you know, there'd be a lot of money in it. But competitively, it wouldn't it wouldn't do anything for me. And I'm glad he said that. I'm glad someone like that said, like, I'm not even going to entertain it because I'm trying to actually be competitive out here. But you have people who are trying to entertain it because now even you had Francis Ngannou talking about, you know, if 
Deontay Wilder can clip you. I can get you to Tyson Fury of, of all people. And Tyson Fury talking about he's going to come into MMA. It's like, can we stop? It doesn't actually prove anything because you literally like these people aren't like training into in like in these other disciplines. They're just training temporarily in that discipline for the fight. That's not the same thing. It's not like what Clarissa Shields is doing when she's going, she's transitioning into MMA. She's actually going into an MMA gym. She's actually turning herself into a mixed martial artist. She's not just doing it for a fight. Like that's who she's going to be for a while, right? Which is excellent. That's an excellent thing to do. Like more props to her. But these guys just go, I'm just going to go train with a couple of my boys who have a mixed martial artist and then go do it. Or that's really not the prominent thing. Really, it's the other thing, boxing. I'm just going to hit some bags and hit, do some pad work and, you know, not kick and not wrestle. And then I'll be ready for boxing. It's just not true. And it just sucks because obviously it doesn't do well, especially for people who've had like a great legacy. Like Floyd, like he's 50, you know, obviously that was an exhibition match. It is what it is. He did it for the money, but it's like, yo, he's considered it, like a lot of people think he's the greatest, right? Or one of the greatest. Like, what is he doing in there with Logan? Come on. Like, what are you doing there? Just for the money? Whatever. But if that's the case, like when you have the tyrant in Jake Paul stuff, it's like, why is that happening? And why are all these other people clamoring to fight this guy who isn't really a fighter, right? Even though he does have some requisite skills, right? I'm not going to completely shit on him there because he does, like, he's a competent, like he is, a lot of his, like, he has like the fundamentals down, but I think maybe it has to do with how much money because Jake Paul pointed out, like if people were getting paid in their respective sports, they wouldn't be coming out trying to fight me. And there's some truth there. Now, I don't know exactly like the exact financials of UFC, but obviously people talk about, you know, how those Reebok deals and these like apparel deals actually cut a lot of their money off because they couldn't have their sponsors and there was a lot of money that could have been made there, right? So perhaps there needs to be another way for these fighters to make more money so they stop looking for these side show fights because in the end of the day, they're out there risking life and limb and yes, it's for com all, like every sport has a, a finite window to get into, but for combat sports, yo, this is crazy. I swear like crazy, that's how humid it is, right? But, and it's damn light, but they have a finite time to be in a sport. Combat sports, that window is even smaller. So it's like for that amount of time, we want to treat these guys as, as, as best as we possibly can, right? For the entertainment they're bringing and, and the type of, of dedication they're bringing to their craft. So, I mean, I don't know how, I know there's a couple ways, you know, not just promote, like, you know, just promoting everybody, like promote them, especially your champions, promote them, put them out there. Um, not, and not just a top five, like maybe just every time you have a match, like, you know, do like embedded or anatomy of a fighters for like all of them, right? Just so people can get them. Like the stronger these fighters are, the stronger your brand is as well. Kind of like in wrestling, like just, but whatever, I don't, I don't want to, a lot of people don't like it if I compare it to wrestling, but when it comes to like, you know, promoting i mean it's not good when they can do it better to their fictional people than you can do for these actual real life badasses right like you know just you know get to know who they are get the like sell them their personality right because that's what people the general audience likes their personality so maybe we should be doing that more in in mixed martial arts right that way they don't have to go and look at boxing and maybe get their head beat in just to get a couple million dollars because they know they're not gonna win they know they're not gonna win or they have a strong pop, they, they have a strong knowledge. Like, oh, I'm probably not gonna get out of this unscathed, but two million sounds great, it's more than I've ever earned. That's sad, man. That's really sad. I don't wanna do that. So let me know what you think. You love these sideshow fights, or do you wish these guys were paid a little more? Or, uh, these look, there's interdisciplinary fights, like you know, like kickboxing versus Muay Thai and stuff like that. But they all have the same availability when it comes to tools. They'll use their tools differently, but the same availability. That's different. With boxing and MMA. I'm sure we understand. I'll probably do a video on like why that's really absurd. But yeah, let me know what you think about it. Let's talk about it in the comments. And don't forget to enter the nerd. Oh.